Frankie Muniz was born on December 5, 1985, in Woodbridge, New Jersey. At the age of four, he and his family moved to North Carolina, and at the age of eight, was discovered at a talent show, playing the role of Tiny Tim in a production of A Christmas Carol. Shortly after his discovery, Muniz's parents divorced, and he and his mother moved to Burbank, California. After making appearances in commercials and films, Muniz would land his breakout role in 1999 when he was cast as the, t as the titular character in the Fox sitcom Malcolm in the Middle, which premiered in 2000. On April 2, 2000, the 10th episode of the first season aired, titled Stock Car Races. In this episode, Hal, the father of the family, took Malcolm and his brothers to Irwindale Speedway to watch a race so Hal can see his favorite driver, Rusty Malcolm, run his final race. Malcolm and his brothers were bored after just watching two laps of the race, and would eventually get in trouble with one of the track security guards. This episode, however, wouldn't be the last time we would see Frankie Muniz around the world of stock car racing. In fact, this actually opened the door to, an to a new opportunity for Muniz in the years ahead. This is the racing side of Frankie Muniz. The day is February 18th, 2001. The NASCAR Winston Cup Series is at the Daytona International Speedway for the 43rd running of the Daytona 500. Many big names were on hand for the 500. Before being interviewed by Fox, Jeff Gordon was seen talking to Donald Trump by his hauler. American boy band O-Town sang the national anthem, and former NFL quarterback Terry Bradshaw was the honorary starter. Frankie was asked by Fox to come to the 500 to ride in the pace car, as well as to film a segment for MTV's documentary series, True Life, and was also hanging out with Ken Schrader and his team. Frankie was given an M&M's jacket, and Schrader even invited Muniz to go to the driver's meeting with him. There, he met Jeff Gordon, and Gordon even questioned why Frankie was wearing a Schrader jacket. And that's when Muniz walked over and met Dale Earnhardt. Frankie said he was a little nervous meeting Earnhardt. Frankie would tell Earnhardt good luck, and the two went separate ways. Frankie continued to meet and receive autographs from other drivers, as well as meeting and signing autographs for fans of his own. As Frankie made his way to join the pace car on Pitt Road, a lot of the officials kept mispronouncing his last name. Everyone says, Munsies, Munnies, Muniz. They never get it right, and even after I say it, what is it? Muniz. Muniz. Frankie Muniz. Even Mike Joy mispronounced his last name. Frankie Muniz from the uh, Fox Sunday night hit Malcolm in the middle. He's going to get a big ride here. He's uh, riding shotgun in the safety car that will pace this field on its first preliminary lap. As the command was given to start the 500, the pace laps began, and Muniz began his ride along in the pace car. After he got out of the pace car, Frankie would go into Ken Schrader's pit and watch the crew in action. He was even given a headset so he can listen into Schrader communicating with his crew. The laps were winding down, and Muniz would make his way up to the spotter stand to watch the final laps. On the final lap, Frankie, along with everyone else, looked to turn four to watch the cars come around, and that's when he saw Dale Earnhardt crash into the outside wall, collecting Schrader. As the safety team was working to get Earnhardt out of his car, Frankie, his mother, and the rest of the spotters in the stand all looked concerned, hoping that Earnhardt would be okay. Frankie and his mother left the track, and later that night, while watching the news, Frankie heard the announcement, and was hoping it wasn't the announcement he thought it was going to be. But unfortunately, it was. Dale Earnhardt was killed in the crash on the final lap. He was only 49 years old. After the 2001 Daytona 500, it would be a while before we would see Frankie Muniz in the world of racing. In 2004, Frankie was invited as a celebrity participant to compete in the Toyota Pro Celebrity Race at Long Beach, finishing 7th to race winner Max Pappas. The next year, Muniz would finish 3rd after Ingo Rademacher and Aaron Pearsall made contact on the final lap. In 2006, Muniz would finish 11th. After Malcolm in the Middle ended in 2006, Muniz would sign a two-year contract 
with Jensen Motorsport to compete in the Formula BMW USA Series for 14 races. In 14 starts in 2006, Muniz had one disqualification, three DNFs, and did not finish in the points in all 14 of his starts, with his best finish being 16th at Indianapolis. He was also selected to compete in the Formula BMW World Final at Valencia, finishing in 29th. Jensen Motorsport moved Muniz up to the Champ Car Atlantic Series for the entire 12 race 2007 season. His results for 2007 are 12 starts, 3 DNFs, 8 finishes outside the top 10, a best finish of 9th at Toronto, and 41 points earned for a 22nd place finish in the standings. For the 2008 season, Frankie signed with Pacific Coast Motorsports and would have a statistically better season. In 11 starts that season, Muniz had 3 top 10s, 8 finishes outside the top 10, and managed to finish all 11 races, scoring 102 points and finishing a career best of 11th in the standings. At the end of the season, Muniz was awarded the Jovi Marcello Award for sportsmanship, and for 2009, Muniz signed with Team Stargate Worlds, and once again, improved statistically. Competing in 9 of the 12 races that season, Muniz finished in the top 10 in all 9 of his starts, with a career best finish of 4th at the Miller Motorsports Park in Utah, earning 62 points and finishing a career best 9th in the standings. Due to the cancellation of the 2010 Atlantic Championship season, Muniz lost his ride and the series would go on hiatus until 2012. In 2011, Muniz returned to the Toyota Pro Celebrity Race, where he finished fourth, and in 2016, he returned, this time as a pro and not a celebrity, in the race's final running, where he finished in seventh. After the 2016 running, and after running a few late model races at Irwindale Speedway, that even included a win, Muniz would quietly step away from racing. Muniz revealed the reason he stepped away from racing was because of injuries he sustained to his back, ribs, and hands in a crash during his racing career. I think we talk about my injuries every day because I have a creaky old body. I'm 31, but I feel like I have the creaky old body of a 71-year-old, Muniz admitted. I've raced Indy cars. I've played every sport. I consider myself a pretty athletic person, but I'm so sore. I'm so dead. Muniz still had a love for racing and it would be five years until we would see Frankie Muniz behind the wheel of a race car. On October 23rd, 2021, it was announced that Frankie Muniz would make his debut in the Spears SRL Southwest Tour Series at Kern County Raceway Park, driving the 56 Ford Mustang prepared by High Point Racing. Muniz finished on the lead lap in 17th out of 25 cars. On January 9th, of just this year, it was reported by EssentiallySports.com that Muniz had interest in starting his own race team and was even looking for sponsorships. And just a few days later, on January 14th, the Arkham Menard series was at Daytona for their yearly test, and during the test, a name was added to the entry list. That name was Frankie Muniz. Muniz was asked to come down to Daytona to test the 01M for fast track racing, and nearly 21 years after riding in the pace car for the 2001 Daytona 500, Frankie Muniz drove his first laps around Daytona International Speedway. Muniz would run 23 laps with his fastest lap being 51.796 seconds and a top speed of 173.759 miles per hour, 10 miles an hour off of Greg Van Al's fastest speed of 184.124 miles per hour. Muniz would sit 53rd out of 64 cars that went out during the test. Later that day, Muniz posted on his Instagram saying that he was ready to get back into a race car full time and that he even had a sponsor lined up for the 2022 season, which would consist of 50 plus races in ARCA, Pro Late Models, and Super Late Models, and that he had unfinished business in the racing world. Unfortunately, his main sponsor dropped out at last minute due to the pandemic-related reasons, which left him in an interesting position, not knowing if he'll be driving this season. 
Frankie may or may not even know what he'll be racing this season, but he's more dedicated than ever to making it happen. It's crazy to think that just 22 years ago, Munez starred in an episode about stock car racing with his character Malcolm saying it's boring after just two laps to running actual test laps in an actual stock car 22 years later. It is a shame that Frankie lost his sponsor, but I do hope he does find a new sponsor to keep his 2022 plans going. Because wouldn't it be something to see Frankie Munez take the green flag in the Arca Menard series?